Josh Blackman is a law professor over at uh, the Cato Institute, and he has a thread on this. It says the GAO found, GAO found that OMB violated the Impoundment Act and suggested that the president, president violated his duty to take care that the laws are faithfully executed. To, pre, to be precise, president did not and could not personally violate the Impoundment Act because the law does not control his personal actions. His liability, if it exists at all, derives from his failure to supervise that his subordinates faithfully executed the law. Seth Tillman and I explain this dichotomy. In the impeachment context, Trump's liability could result from knowing uh, from knowingly failing to take care that his subordinates faithfully executed the law. Most of the criticisms we received assumed that president personally violated the ICA. OMB violated the statute, not the president. Whether the president violated his duty of faithful execution is a different question that the OMB does not decide, but only hints at. Beyond that, even a violation of law, even a violation of law in this particular case, does not necessarily mean that the proper solution is impeachment. The reason I say that, the reason I say that is because the law itself, the, the law itself has an answer to this. U.S. Code 2, Section 687, Chapter 2, Section 687, suits by Comptroller General. If under this chapter, budget authority is required to be made available for obligation, and such budget, budget authority is not made available for obligation, the Comptroller General is hereby expressly empowered through attorneys of his own selection to bring a civil action in the United States District Court for the District of Columbia to require such budget authority to be made available for obligation. And such court is hereby expressly empowered to enter in, in such civil action against any department, agency, officer, or employee of the United States, any decree, judgment, or order which may be necessary or appropriate to make such budget authority available for obligation. No civil action shall be brought by the Comptroller General under this section until the expiration of 25 calendar days of continuous session of Congress following the date on which an explanatory statement by the Comptroller General of the circumstances giving rise to the action contemplated has been filed with the Speaker of the House of Representatives and the President of the Senate. In other words, the Comptroller General is supposed to file a lawsuit against the President in the D.C. Circuit Court of Appeals. It's not supposed to be impeachable. 